Welcome back to 360 Strong Women. Today we're back in the kitchen and we're going to make a really healthy, quick egg salad. This is what I'm going to put in it. So I've got some hard boiled eggs full of protein, full of omega-3s, about 60 calories per egg. I've got a cup full of raw spinach and I'm going to chop this up. I've already washed it and dried. It just needs to be chopped about seven calories a cup and full of nutrients, fiber and really great nutrients. If I were to add one thing to each meal, because we want to make sure we're getting deep, dark nutrients, spinach would be one of those superfoods that I would put into every recipe. And we're going to need a tablespoon of, I'm going to use this mayo with avocado oil. We're going to need some salt and pepper to taste, just a little bit of salt. I'm mostly going to use pepper. I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of diced jalapenos because I like it a little bit of a kick, but you don't have to add that. That's an option. And a tablespoon of chia seeds full of protein if you can get, um, and fiber. If you can get chia seeds also into each meal, it's a great thing. And then I'm going to, at the end, add one avocado for my healthy fats and chop it up. And then we're going to rough chop everything, throw it all together, mix it up, chill it. And then you could put this on Ezekiel toast or Ezekiel bread. You could use whole wheat pitas to dip from, or you can just eat it out of the bowl. This is a breakfast or a brunch. You could eat it for lunch. It's very quick. It's very healthy. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is just rough chop these eggs up. It doesn't have to be tiny. Unless you have digestive issues, you can just rough chop them. Like I said, this is super quick. I throw it together when i um, busy. I'm on the move. I've got a lot of things to do. But I want to get something in that's very healthy and doable. And what I'm striving for are omega-3s, protein, low calorie, uh, dark, deep nutrients, potassium, vitamins, minerals. So I've got some eggs. I'm going to throw that into my dish at my rough chopped egg. Take my spinach and remember spinach you can saute, you can use raw, you can even use frozen. Um, rinse it, wash it, dry it, and again, it's just a rough chop. You can put spinach in salads, in stews, in soups, in uh, one dish meals. You can put it underneath eggs or in eggs, or you can saute it down. So I've rough chopped my salad and it's also going to go into my bowl. I'll put my avocado in last. Then I put the rest of my ingredients in. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of chopped jalapenos, my salt and pepper, my teaspoon or tablespoon um, of my tablespoon of chia seeds, a tablespoon of my avocado oil, and then I'm going to cut up my avocado, blend it all together, and then we're done. Okay, this is what it looks like after you mixed it all up. And then I'm going to chop up my avocado and put it in and chill it and serve it. So we've got rough chopped hard boiled eggs. That's our protein in our omega-3. We have rough chopped spinach, raw spinach, dark, deep nutrients, fiber. We need fiber. I've put chia seeds in here because... We also need added protein and fiber. And then I'm going to add my avocado. And I've got the tablespoon of the mayonnaise with the avocado oil as my healthy fat. And that's it. You add it all together. Add your spices. I add a little jalapeno to this just because I like it a little uh, spicy. But you don't have to. A little salt and pepper to taste. Less salt. 
because your spinach has natural sodium in it. And then you're ready. You can serve this just like a salad, eat it just like this. You could put it on Ezekiel bread, a little whole wheat toast rounds, something like that, or serve it up with some whole wheat pitas and, you know, dip it. Um, it's up to your preference, but high deep nutrients, very quick. It didn't take me any time to make this and you're done. All right, that's it. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to chill. It makes about two to four servings, depending on if you're going to put this on bread or not. Um, it's really filling. And if you are shooting for a meal that has your protein, has your healthy fat, and has your fiber in it, plus deep, dark minerals and vitamins, this is your go-to. We want to get in protein at every meal. Don't wait till the end for a big piece of protein. Try to spread your protein out through the day so that you're digesting it really well and it helps your body. Make sure that you're putting protein into every single meal and you're going to be healthier for it. This was just something really quick. I do this all the time. It's super fast, quick, but it's very healthy and it gives me those nutrients I'm looking for a protein in my meal, a lot of fiber, because you, women, you need 28 grams of fiber a day. It's hard to find that. I'm going to be talking about that in another talk. And how do we get that much fiber in a meal? We get it by adding vegetables and fruits to every, every meal. So if you wanted to get a little bit more fiber, you could make this and then have a cup of strawberries, blueberries, or raspberries. That's going to give you some more fiber. Uh, chia seeds, fiber, and protein, because we need a lot of protein also. And then we want those deep, dark nutrients. Look for whole foods, mostly plant-based, not too much. Um, eggs, though, are a great way to get your protein in. Don't forget to hit our button, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.